Holly. I'm Matt. And I'm Thomas. And today we're talking about whole sales and what we think would increase sales from ages 18 to 24 is really like bumping up the advertisement on like social media and online and like mobile apps. Because if you notice on the online shopping sale percentages, the ages 18 to 24, they had the highest percentages for online shopping. So if Kohl's was to really start advertising online, you might see higher sales for this age group. Um, the United States has roughly around 1. million retail stores, and Kohl's got ranked 23 out of the 100 in, within the United States. <coughs> and when it comes to online shopping and retail shops, shopping, what really, like, like they, they're based off of each other a lot because online shopping really helps when customers don't want to go out to the stores or makes it much more easier, more handy for them. The retail stores also are for the older groups that still do a lot of the shopping, want to try things on. And, but online stores are starting to become more popular as retail stores are starting to close more and more locations. Um, so where does Kohl's stand? Um, they were ranked 23, I think it was being said. And, um, they have been making about $19 billion the last couple of years, um, including in 2016, and the, but overall their income has slowly been increasing. Um, for customer satisfaction, um, you can see here uh, what their rating is. They're, it's pretty close with the competitors overall, but they do have a slight edge. They're usually one or two points on a 100 point scale ahead of their competitors in the online um, store and mobile um, sections. Um, overall, the sas software satisfaction trend has been um, decreasing. The sector average, as you can see, has been went down about 3.9%, um, but Kohl's only went down 3.8%, which is less than competitors. Target took a big hit, 6.3%, and Sears only took a 2.7%. But overall, it's all been declining for everyone. Um, and their reputation and brand value. Um, brand value for Kohl's is around $6 million. Um, Target's 20 it was 25 million about, and only two million for like TJ Maxx's, another competitor, and their reputation is really highly rated. 70, they're rating 75 out of 100. The, the highest company had about 85, um, so they're pretty close up there. They aren't the top, but um, they do very well for themselves. And uh, for the market share of closest competitors, um, market share is is like one market, and each different company is responsible for um, X percent of uh, the sales in that market. Um, so for for Kohl's, they, um, they're responsible for about 0.54%, Target's about 2.21%, 2.21%, Sears is about 0.75%, um, and TJX is 0.93%. So um, it's actually responsible for the least amount um, in, in market share compared to its competitors. Uh, for the annual sales, market share, and growth, um, for the um, the highest would be traditional grocery store uh, groceries and supermarkets at five forty seven point four billion. The lowest would be the military at four point eight billion. Um, and the market and for the market share, the highest amount would be um, traditional grocery stores and supermarkets at forty six point three percent. The lowest is still the military at point four percent. And for growth, um, the highest would be the dollar stores at five point seven percent growth. The lowest would be military and um, mass merchandise discount stores, both um, going down 1.2%. So in all three categories, the military is actually the lowest. Uh, for market trends in the retail industry, um, huge draws draws um, for, for advertising and for sales and everything have to do with the holiday season. Everyone knows holiday shopping. Everybody knows Black Friday, um, back to school. I think every um, retail store advertises back to school sales and products that they're selling for back to school. Um, and online shopping is probably the most well-known market trend. I think every uh, well-known brand in the store has a website that, can, that uh, consumers can order from and get um, immediate satisfaction shipped straight to the doorstep. And in conclusion, um, Kohl's can actually increase uh, their sales and um, pulling in more people from the age group of 18 to 24 by um, advertising more on social media, by expanding more in their online shopping um, on their website, 
they can definitely do a lot more with um, creating a better reputation for their brands, meaning bringing in more uh, brands that are kind of related to that age group, meaning young, like uh, stores that young people shop at, they can make partnerships with that store and sell more products like that. Um, and advertisement is a huge thing, like I said, like on social media, I think that it's really overlooked. Because um, mainly the people that shop at Kohl's right now are older than the age group of 18 to 24. And I definitely think that to expand that, they need to be um, maybe hiring people um, on the marketing team that are in that age group so that they know what people want, they can <coughs> appeal to different customers in different age groups. Um, but for overall, I think that definitely advertising more on social media can help them out with that. Is there a Does anybody have any questions? Well, you just created one. So you mentioned you're thinking that in order to target their market, they need to hire people on their marketing team that understands that demographic. Did you happen to look in your human resource structure to see I didn't look what into it looks that. Like? Uh, it's more, <clears throat> I think it's a suggestion where in certain industries, they have a lot of people that are in the older age group. I think maybe hiring somebody right out of college, maybe as like an intern just to get ideas so they know like what people in that age group want, I think could help a lot and maybe have different perspectives on the idea of how to market to that age group. Okay, and then can you go back a couple slides? There's a slide, annual sales, you talked about military. Yeah. What was the connection to this to Kohl's? The connection with this, it was actually on um, Mintel, where I think that, I, I think that uh, some of the products they sell actually, Kohl's does have, I know that they sell like army knives, they sell uh, products like that. I'm not entirely sure what the connection was, but it was ranked in there with Kohl's and traditional grocery stores. And, Okay, all right. You guys want to add anything? You're all set? Okay, thank you very much.